Masinga died in a Johannesburg hospital today. He was 49. Masinga helped South Africa clinch the 1996 Africa Cup of Nations title and scored the famous goal that secured South Africa's qualification to the 1998 World Cup. Our reporter, Sentleng Lehihi, is at the Masinga home in Clarksdorp and joins us now. Good evening, Sentleng. Can you tell us what is happening where you are? and our viewers. Good evening once again, Mahendra and our viewers. We're here in Kuma at the Masinga home where friends and family have gathered following these unexpected news of Phil Masinga's passing earlier today. We understand that his brother Ernest has just arrived, but unfortunately he has not been able to speak to us distraught as he is following these news. He has just made his way from Johannesburg where his brother met his untimely death earlier on. We understand that Mrs. Masinga will also be making her way from Johannesburg to this very family home where she will gather with more of the family members to actually speak about funeral arrangements and how the coming week will progress in laying this man to rest. You must understand that for this community this is a very significant loss. We're talking about a young man who, who actually brought this area to prominence, participating in football to great uh, uh, achievements from uh, uh, his performance in Cosmos to his performance representing South Africa and to also representing South Africa internationally as a member of Leeds United. We understand that Mr. Masinga was sick and he had been treated here at a local Clarksdorp hospital uh, before he was taken to Parktown. It is not quite clear, in fact, uh, this, the, the circumstances that led to it, his death, but all we know so far is that he succumbed to an illness that had been, you know, plaguing him for some time. It is still to be seen, in fact, how many more other prominent people will come to this here home to show their respects and pass their condolences to this family but for now you know the news have come as much of a shock to this community with many people driving past here to just you know let their word of condolences be heard to those who've been affected we have heard from those who worked with Phil Masinga the likes of Jenny Danny Jordan speak about his unmountable contribution to the soccer fraternity as it is we've also spoken to his friends the like of Mr. Alexander who began football with him at the very tender age before he reached his prominence. Uh, for now, we're still going to try the best we can to see if the family could in fact speak to us in more detail about what uh, is to follow from these here events. But for now, back to you guys in studio. Thank you very much indeed. Our correspondent, uh, Sintleng Lehihi at Clarkstop at the home of